I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best version of myself. I'm not here to prove anything. I'm, I'm, I'm here to prove myself wrong, you know. I'm here to prove myself. Every time it's, it's for myself, you know. I want to prove it to yourself that you still got it. Prove it to your team, people who work, wake up in the morning to come train with you, people who give their everything, you know, leave their houses, their family to come train with you. So you owe it to a lot of people, you know. For me, the most important thing is that um, um, what I try to make, what I try to achieve with him is to make sure that he's uh, getting the best out of himself. And I think regarding nutrition, there's still a lot to improve, uh, things that he can change, uh, make sure that he can manage uh, on a daily basis his nutrition on the output that he, uh, that he expects from himself and, and that he can grow as a person. Um, and like I said, for me, uh, I like to work with athletes who are eager and like I said, I cannot wait. There's not really, uh, it's not rocket science. The only thing that I try to do, the, I think the main difference is that I am program his nutrition daily and, and to make sure that he gets all the energy in, that makes sure that he can give everything in the ring. And also with his uh, strength and conditioning coach, even on a rest day, just to make sure that he's getting a lot of energy in and make sure that his output is even greater than before. Checking his skin folds uh, to, to see how his body fat is managing uh, throughout the months that we've been working, and of course it's better to keep it a little bit on uh, a little bit lower uh, and make sure that his his body weight is getting higher. And that's the only thing that I did. This fight, is this for you, is it a step? Because I know the, the, the belt is still on your mind, right? Yeah, always. Yeah, is this fight, is it a step closer to getting to... I think every win, every win is a step closer. Yeah, but is, is this like... Like you have like a roadmap put out for yourself with this part. I think this is roadmap uh, that we had to we have to speak about with Glory, you know, because I'm not the one uh, making decisions. I would love to, but I'm not. So uh, yeah, it's something that the organization has to look at. You know, I'm I'm just here to win my fight and see what happens, and it's up to them. You know, I'm 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 in service of uh, of, of Glory, so uh, let's see what they say. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, the belt is on my mind. I've been in this game for a long time. I've been through some tournaments. It's the ultimate test to show who is smartest, who is strongest. Uh, so yeah, maybe Glory should do it. Give us an eight-man tournament. So yeah, you have me, you have Rico, you have, uh, I, hope, I hope Ben Sadik soon. Uh, yeah, you have uh, Mahadeen, Plasibat. In your ideal world, if you could pick any fighters, to be in this eight-man tournament, who would you pick? Besides yourself, obviously? Yeah, Rico. Uh, ben Sadik. Alistair. Uh, let's see what he does first in the next fight. So we have now three. Mahadin. So this is four on, the, on one side. Then we have the other side. We have Plasibat. We have Khwabiz. We need some meat, so we have Leifi Richters. And we need, uh, 
What else do we have? Yeah, for sure, Adebui. Yeah, yeah, I forgot him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Then you got an amazing tournament. Yeah, yeah, the amazing tournament. So hopefully, let's see what... Uh, I would love it. Yeah, just like in Japan. Clear, simple, you pick, you stand, you pick, you stand. Not we're gonna, we're gonna put four here and then see you. No, fuck it, you know? Yeah, if you got a final in your first match, you got a final. If, if, if I meet Rico in uh, fight number one, that's it, you know? So uh, yeah, that would be great. So let's see. Toen was, hij, toen was hij echt chubby basketballer. Oh, ja, ja, ja. En hij is, uh, hij, is die, ja, die, uh, hij is die day one van Juri. Oh, ja, die bedoel ik, ja, ja. Ja, ja onder de basketballer is hij wel echt een monster geworden. Echt waar? Ja, sterk. Sterk gast. Dat zegt Juri ook tegen mij. Ja, maar als hij groot als jou wordt, dat is niet handig. Nee, tuurlijk niet. Maar ja, aan de andere kant, LeBron James ook zo groot. Ja, fair enough. Maar laten we niet uh, onze ja, Nederlanders ja, vergelijken met LeBron James, alsjeblieft. Ze droom is toch groter. Man. Fair enough. Ja. And it's a big fight for me because uh, you know I had some I had some bad years. You know I'm 36. I'm very young still. You know I'm in a great shape. I'm, I'm stronger than everybody in the gym. Faster. I got more uh, stamina. I'm 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 better in everything. So, uh, <clears throat> but I, I was just too unlucky this this last year. But maybe it was also because my mind was not on it. You know the last year was uh, very hectic. Like I said, I was sick. I got twins. You know the pandemics. I got. A lot of things going on, but like I said, you know, no excuses. You know, this is just story of my life. So you choose to fight, so you choose to win, or you choose to lose. So you know, this this it just happens. I'm very hungry again. You know, he. He's been, he's been knowing me for a long time. He knows my good spots, you know, he knows my weaknesses. I don't have a lot, but some. And uh, he just works on them very well, you know, basics, basics, basics. And uh, a lot of things are gonna be different. I think it's a very important fight, you know, for me. I think he's a very uh, talented fighter. You cannot underestimate him. So, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be in the best shape of my life. So it's gonna be a hard fight for him. I think, you know, he, he fights against me. So this is uh, the chance of his life. So he will be prepared uh, as good as possible. And uh, me also, for me, is also uh, a very big fight, this one. So uh, yeah, I got, I, got a lot, I got a lot to, I got a lot to do, but you know, I put in the work. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be ready.